aspect ratio, image size. Welcome back to the Visual Center. A very common mistake I see new artists make in Photoshop is when they use the crop tool and they assume that it's also setting their image size. While the crop tool does affect the image size a little bit, it's mostly for setting your aspect ratio. Let me show you what I mean. The image I have here was not cropped during my editing process, so it's at my camera's native aspect ratio. And if you remember from Trent's video, aspect ratio is the comparison of the width to the height which in this case is 2-3. But what I'm wanting to do is prepare this image to fit in an 8x10 picture frame. The problem is 8x10 is a 4-5 ratio, not a 2-3. At a 2-3, my image size would be an 8x12, and that wouldn't fit in the picture frame. And that's actually related to another common mistake that I see. Oftentimes I see artists try to pick an image size before they know what picture frame that it's going in. This can be kind of a headache especially if you're not familiar with standard picture frame sizes, or if you're getting one that isn't a standard picture frame size, but you've printed a standard picture frame image. So unless you're getting your images custom framed, what I recommend is figure out what picture frame you're getting first, and then size your image according to that. Now, in order to get this image to fit in the chosen frame size, we need to use the crop tool. If you select the crop tool over here, up in the control panel, you'll see an area that says ratio. And if you select this drop down, you'll see a lot of common aspect ratio presets. Here is the 2 3 that my image is set in. If I select that, you'll see my crop guide didn't change very much. But if I select the 4 5, you'll see that crop guide change shape. This is great because now I can recompose my image to the new ratio, and I can decide what would be okay cropping out before I even print it. Say something like this. Or if I didn't want to crop anything, I could use Adobe's new generative expand feature to expand the frame. Simply select the aspect ratio you want, in my case, four or five, then expand the crop frame. I'm gonna hold down option so it expands from both sides and wait for it to snap to the top and bottom of the original. Then back up in the control panel, we'll switch this drop down to generative expand. Now we hit generate in the contextual taskbar. Photoshop will then analyze your image and fill in your extra space. And remember that if it's not quite to your liking, you have three options to choose from. Or you can always hit generate again to get three more options. Now you might be presented with a situation where you don't have a standard picture frame size. Recently, I prepared this image of mine that was a stitched together panorama for a frame that my wife got for me. The frame size was 11 and three quarters by 36. And you'll notice that there isn't an option for that in the drop down here. So you simply come over to this section and type it in manually. 11 and three quarters by 36. And keep in mind that in my case, 11 and three quarters by 36 was portrait orientation. And my image is in landscape orientation. So a quick click here and Photoshop will swap those numbers for me. And there you go. Typing it in manually is also good if you don't wanna to have to do the math. You won't find the picture frame size 16 by 20 in the dropdown because 16 by 20 is actually a four or five ratio. The ratios are written in the most simplified fractions of your dimensions. Warning, warning, math, warning. But don't worry about doing the math to figure that out. You can go ahead and just type in 16 by 20. And Photoshop will accept it and even recognize that it matches a preset. Now this brings us back to that first common mistake that I mentioned. We typed in 16 by 20, but the crop tool does not resize your image to 16 by 20. It only matches the aspect ratio. If we take a look at image size, we'll see that my image is only almost 11 by 13 and a half. But since I set the aspect ratio to 16 by 20, when I resize it, it should give me a perfect 16 by 20. 
So when preparing an image for print, remember that aspect ratio and image size are two different steps. First, set your aspect ratio with the crop tool, and then set your width and height in image size. I hope you found that helpful. And if you ever have any questions, be sure to ask. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.